Uh, Bob, this is uh, the new book you're planning to write called The Ethics of Interpersonal Relationships is your 12th book. I'm wondering why did you decide at this particular point to, to tackle this particular subject? That's an interesting question. Uh, I've always been uh, pained at the way people hurt each other uh, in my work as a psychotherapist. Uh, I've seen so much damage done to people unnecessarily in their formative years and how difficult it is to modify and change some of the trauma that uh, people have experienced. Even now, on a, on, a, on a world level, I'm very concerned about the, the uh, horrible things that are happening everywhere. And just the fact that we haven't learned anything in all these years, we haven't learned very much with all the increase in technology and everything. So I wanted to explain why people hurt each other and, and how they hurt each other and how in, in, in some sense their hurting each other is incidental, is not uh, a conscious action, but more a, uh, a reaction to the way they were damaged. In, the, in other words, in our own defense, we end up hurting other people to the extent that we form defenses to protect ourselves. Uh, we incidentally hurt other people. I'm concerned about that. It touches me. It, it causes me pain. Uh, about 35 years ago, my friends and I decided to try to look at our lives and to size up the way we were living and to try and develop a new way of talking and thinking and being open with each other. We, we came aware of what hurt us in our developmental years and we didn't want to perpetuate that hurt with other people or with our friends. We tried to develop uh, a way of living that was fulfilling and uh, decent and loving and compassionate. So in a way, without thinking about it, we developed an implicit morality based on pretty sound mental hygiene principles as to what hurts people and what benefits people. Our group of friends was very concerned about our kids and, and, and our, how we affect them. And we, particularly there, we didn't want to perpetuate the damage that had been done to us, which is the normal tendency. You tend to act out behaviors that had actually been destructive to you and your development, even though that was the last thing you wanted to do. So uh, <coughs> parents innocently very often hurt their children in ways that really have placed serious limitations on their lives later on. And we wanted to avoid doing that, and so we spent a lot of time talking openly about ourselves, our pasts, and our, our current lives with our children. And so the book really tells how people are hurt, how they're damaged, and the kind of defenses they form, which incidentally hurt other people. One of the things that's interesting in your work is you, you make a connection between interpersonal harm that we do to each other and societal violence, war, right. and things of that nature. How, what do you see as the connection between how, the individual, how individuals harm each other and uh, how societies wind up uh, uh, committing violence against other societies? In the process of defending ourselves, we f tend to form a fantasy bond. We, we tend to idealize and connect to things in our lives. We tend to feel superior to others. We tend, our families are, we see our family as superior to the next. And this extends into neighborhoods, cities, national policies, and so on. We become progressively alienated to the extent that we defend ourselves from other people. <clears throat> and society represents a pooling of individual defenses. So basically, we're, uh, we're organizing our defenses and we attach to people closest to us, to us and we form defenses and we're suspicious of people who think differently than we do, who have different ideas, who threaten our defenses. So on a societal level, we, we're, we're polarized against other peoples 
So the very thing that gives us comfort and safety, this kind of fantasy bond or connection, uh, this kind of illusion of connectedness is the very thing that sets us apart on the one hand. For example, different religious beliefs polarize against other religious beliefs, one race against the next, in such ways that it emphasizes ethnic differences and leads to horrible, terrible things like ethnic cleansing and wars. Basically, the very defenses that protect us also alienate us from other people.